Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Alex, and today I want to talk about uniform uh, collections. Because we have a lot of uniform collections in Marvel Future Fight, but more recently we got the very first free uniform collection. And it's probably going to be the last time we get another free uniform collection for a long time. I mean, fingers crossed that we get another one, but um, it's interesting and I wanted to highlight it because um, it gave away crystals. And this has become a consistent feature that they offer with new uniform um, collections where for the first 14 days after a uniform is released or after a set of uniforms is released after an update is released they will combine some of those uniforms into a collection and then if you can get all of those uniforms to mythic within the first 14 days you'll be able to collect the regular reward which in this case for this one is mcron crystals but you'll also be able to collect a crystal reward as well i'm gonna hide my camera just for a second so you guys can see that down here i'm still missing um domino's uniform but i do have apocalypse or sorry cable and um deadpool that came around during that apocalypse update but there are a lot of uniform uh collections in the game um but this is the very first time since they introduced the system where we've had um uniforms that were given for free by completing the story three times i know it's a pain in the butt um but then you would get if you finish this uniform collection in time and i think there's about one day left on it you would get um one million gold which is the base reward it's probably the same reward as like i don't know one of these if i keep cycling through i'll eventually find one that has a million gold as a reward they basically cycle through the same group of rewards but um you yeah so it'd be one million gold like that and then you also get 375 crystals now what does it take to mythic these uniforms well it takes two things it takes about 3,000 bios for these characters you need about 900 captain america bios 900 black widow bios and 900 iron man bios so right away that might not be worth it for some of you who need those bios for other characters who need them for native tier twos for you know leveling up characters to level 70 as part of their potential so for some players it's just not attractive you know i i can get these characters to mythic but i can't do it that fast in two weeks I need those bios for something else now as far as getting those bios you can get them quite easily if you've saved up um rift tokens if you if you're not the type of player that has to spend them again this assumes that you have a large um reservoir a large amount saved up of, of course if you're spending these every day um you wouldn't have them to spend but if you do have some left over you don't need like a ton but you do need quite a bit um you can get you know you can get 200 per day for 27,000. so if you do the math on that i don't know how many you would need overall it's probably like a hundred thousand tokens um that you can farm up in like less than 10 days you, you can actually farm that up in less than two weeks i believe but then for those two weeks all of your tokens would be going towards captain america bios iron man and, and black widow bios assuming you started at zero um and then you also need so that that just covers the bios that you need for a uniform uh collection to, to finish this one in particular on top of that you're going to need to grind out their um, XP. And that's really the biggest challenging part. And that's the most challenging part. There's also the uh, third thing, which you need uniform upgrade kits. But again, you can also get those for one. They're pretty cheap, actually. It's 1,500 tokens for 150 uh, uniform upgrade kits per day. So you can um, farm enough up in time if you buy them every single day. And then in the lab, um, you can also make additional uniform upgrade kits if you have excess materials of these. Now, all of this assumes that you have lots of resources. And I always preach to players that they should save resources unless they have an immediate use for them. Because that's also the tactic that I take, um, despite the fact that I'm a whale and despite the fact that I spend a lot of money on this game. You can see that I, like, that I like to save my resources and I don't just spend them frivolously. Um, unless it's for a video or this is for fun or some sort of experiment like right now i'm floating 150,000 tokens sure i could spend them all right now but i don't have a need to and my attitude is that at any moment marvel future fight could introduce something new and they could give us some new reason to need these resources so why would i spend them if i could save them now of course newer players and players who have pressing um things that they need to to buy whether it's with you know that material or some other material or uniform xp chips whatever they don't have that luxury i understand that it is a luxury that i am not only uh, a vip 18 player but i'm also a f almost five year player i've been playing this game for a long time so i've had a long time i've had literally years to farm up these materials but um if you're the type of player that is interested in this kind of thing um to be on the lookout and, and take a look next time there's, a, there's an update and there's a uniform collection apologies for not mentioning this or making this video earlier obviously if i had made this video at the start of the update and if i had 
put it out there maybe some extra players would have gone and grinded it um but it did take me a long time it took me like 11 days to farm up all the xp and it required a lot of kind of set and forget so i would basically just grab my phone or i would go on an emulator i would set up the, the team of three it would be cap iron man and black widow all dressed in their uniforms and then i would you know set it up to do the maximum number of runs it would be like 29 or 30 and i would just hit start and i would go and do something else that i needed to do and i would come back later when they were done and i did that every single day for like 10 days so it is a pretty um time intensive and and phone battery intensive thank you but no thank you um it is a very time intensive and phone battery intensive um grind and i can prove to you that i did grind it because i still have the majority of my level um level one to five at uniform xp chips now i did just get 10 from the battle world so those don't count but everything else is still there and it's not that far off from what i used to have um before the update there, there may be a few differences but i also purchased them from the shield level and stuff but i didn't just sit there spamming uniform xp chips that i've saved up again it's the hoarder's mentality that if i can grind it out for free or if i can grind it out um in a short time and i can get the same results what's the point of spending um, these uniform XP chips? I can save them for another character that I will desperately want to level up ASAP. I didn't have a pressing need to level up the 3099 uniforms. Um, I was just doing it and I just needed to do it within the time frame to get that extra 375 crystals. The reason why they're free crystals this time is because they gave away the uniforms for free just by doing the story, as I mentioned. Um, but every other time, even if they do offer crystals, like let's say for this one, even if they do offer 375 crystals, you have to purchase five uniforms. That's five. That's over 5,000 crystals. You're not going to purchase 5,000 crystals worth of uniforms and then get them to Mythic in two weeks to get 375 crystals. So another reason why I wanted to make this video or sort of like an aside, uh, an additional sort of um, notice is uh, for the players themselves to gauge uh, the value of these different uniform collections and also to save some of them. This is, this is a tip that I have for you. And again, it's the hoarder's mentality. You see the X-Force one, and if we scroll up a little bit higher, is X-Force the only one? I think there's one more that's hiding somewhere. Maybe it's just X-Force. Anyways, I've saved the X-Force uh, collection number two. I'm done. I got Deadpool's X-Force uniform to Mythic like a year ago, uh, almost a year ago. But I don't need those Mkron crystals right now. But if a character comes out in the future that I need those Mkron crystals for, or if there's some sort of event and I need 300 Mkron crystals desperately, I can always come here and get it. And you can do the same thing for any other um, resource that has a cap. Now, of course, Black Antimatter, Chaos Northstones, you don't have to do that. You could save the biometric selectors for a future character, even if you complete this team suit collection. You can, well, you wouldn't want to save the gold, but you could save the gold, um, and so on and so forth. So you can actually see this as sort of like an extended inventory. This one does drop crystals for um, permanently as a permanent reward, but it's, again, it's a very expensive. I haven't gotten any of these uniforms mythic because it's extremely expensive. Um, and I don't I don't recommend grinding it up just for that. But you can save the biometrics. You can save the X-Men materials. If they ever add other materials that have a cap on them, you can also sort of save them and leave uh, all but one of the uniforms unlocked. And then whenever you need it, it's sort of like smash in case of emergency. And I can just go down there and click on Deadpool's uniform, um, complete the collection, and then collect the reward. Uh, and so I, that's a tip for you guys. But then for the devs, I would honestly uh, encourage you to, you know, Marvel Future Fight devs, to experiment with better rewards and different rewards. Um, why not reward players who grind up the uniforms in a, in two weeks? Why not reward them with, like, uh, a uniform upgrade ticket? It doesn't have to be a mega uniform upgrade ticket, but it could be, like, a heroic one or a legendary one or a mythic one. Sort of, you know, refund them some of the cost that they spent investing. Um, maybe add more gold rather than just a million gold, which is honestly not that much. You're, you're honestly going to spend, um, you're, I don't know the, the amount, but I'm going to guess for just one of these uniforms. Okay. Let's just say just Captain Marvel's. If you, if you rank it up manually, you don't use tickets. I think that's going to cost you at least a million gold. So you're not even getting a refund on one of the four uniforms. And there are four uniforms, not to mention the fact that Nick Fury's is, um, premium. So you could, you know, you could experiment with these uh, and you could, I think you could bump up the rewards. I think it would be worthwhile to bump up the rewards um, and you could even have decaying rewards. I think that's another thing that would be uh, attractive to some of the more veteran players, not just whales, but players who just hoard resources. Uh, what I mean by decaying rewards is offer a really big reward to players who can mythic them faster. So maybe uh, start out at, you know, 375 crystals and 10 million gold. 
and then that gold will go down by 1 million for every day after the first or second day that the update is out and then by the end by the 14th day it'll just be the regular 1 million gold reward um but yeah I, I don't i don't really have a lot of ideas or suggestions i just i like the uniform collection i think it's fun i think it's a good way of giving extra rewards to players who are collectionists and completionists because i know a large part of the player base that plays Marvel Future Fight is not competitive, um, and they're not playing for some sort of glory, but they're playing for the collection. They want to have all the characters, or they want to have, you know, specific characters. They want to maybe get specific characters to a very high rank. Maybe they want to go to rank one, and then maybe they also want to, you know, unlock all of the things that they can and sort of rank up all of the things that they can. So, you know, some players want to have every character tier two. Some players want to have every uniform unlocked or every uniform to mythic that they own. Um, not necessarily every single uniform, but it's just sort of like uh, that collectionists and completionists um, attitude. So I do think that the uniform collection is good for that. I think it's interesting that they gave us a uh, sort of free crystal um, uniform collection for once. I would like to see them do that in the future as well, or at least bump up the rewards to make it more worthwhile to rush to get those rewards. Um, and then I also wanted to let you guys know that that's the, why, that's the reason why if you ever see me in a video or if you ever see me on a stream, um, not clicking the instant clear because even as a VIP 18, I only have 20 free clears per day. So 20 times per day, I can auto clear and still get uniform XP. But for everything else, I still have to play. So that doesn't even cover my 35 dimension missions. So I still have to manually play them if I want. This is manually play what I mean. Re repeat instead of clear. If I want to get uniform XP, I still have to repeat rather than auto clear. Um, and that's why I have all these goofy ass teams. What I'm actually doing now, um, this uniform uh, upgrade kind of spurred my desire to finish all of the uniform collections. It's kind of a, I don't think I'm ever going to get there. But again, it's about having goals in Marvel Future Fight. And so what I did was I started with uh, Captain America Civil War. I, I skipped some of these because I finished Ragnarok. I'm not really interested in Age of Apocalypse, although I'm very, very close. I think I just need to finish uh, Cyclops from uh, Legendary to Mythic. And then uh, this one is a little bit too expensive for my blood. And these two, I can finish these as well. I mean, this one's finished and this one just requires Hulkbuster. So um, I'm pretty close on this one. Probably not going to touch this one. So this was the very first one that I legitimately am behind on um, and I can do it. And as a luxury of being a, a veteran and a whale, I don't have the need for these biometrics for these characters. So any, any extra biometrics that I have for them, I can either hoard them for a future native tier two or I can spend them on their um on their uniforms to upgrade them to mythic so that's what i'm going to be doing and i'm going to be seeing how many maybe i can chip away and do one uniform collection per update so it's going to take me you know more than a year to finish all of these off i might not even catch up like i said i might not even finish it um, but that's why i run run with goofy ass teams like this and uh that's probably one of my next goals along with uh, other stuff that i'm doing sort of on the back burner sort of in secret uh, on the down low um, for videos, for content, and for my own uh, experimentation purposes. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about the uniform uh, collection. I think it's cool. Um, I think maybe look a, look out for it and keep an eye on it if it's something that you never really thought of. Um, I know for a lot of players, it's, it's out of their grasp to just throw throw away 3,000 bios, ranking up uniforms that they're not actually going to use because they have the in-game uniforms or because they're not going to be getting them anytime soon. Um, and I don't personally have a, you know, I don't have an efficient use for these uniforms. It doesn't ranking up the uniforms to mythic doesn't uh, improve their value and doesn't make them stronger in the story mode. I think it should, but it doesn't. Um, so there really isn't any point to ranking them up. There, it's just just the aesthetic uh, thing of having an extra mythic uniform, um, and then it's the collector's attitude, and then it's the uniform collection. But I wanted to bring it up. I thought it'd be an interesting topic, and I wanted to share my feedback and my experiences with you. So let me know what you guys think of the uh, 3099 uniform collection. Also hit me up and let me know how far you are in the collections. Uh, maybe you're ahead of me or maybe you've completely ignored it and you don't have any. It doesn't really matter, but I want to hear from you either way. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.